What's up guys, welcome to Biohacking Explain. My name is Daniel. I'm a biohacker that has been experimenting with himself for several years. And today we're gonna do the comprehensive overview for Melanotan 1. So Melanotan 1 has a very special place in my heart. It was the very first peptide that I ever researched with. And I utilized it to get a better tan. I do live in Miami and I needed extra protection for that UV. Melanotan 1 was developed by the University of Arizona and its main purpose was to combat cancer. Now, the main reason why you get cancer is not from the UV exposure itself, but it's the reaction that your skin has to the UV exposure. Skin cancer isn't produced by the sunlight itself, guys. Remember, sunlight is great for you. It helps you produce vitamin D, which in turn helps you produce other essential hormones in your body. Skin cancer is developed by prolonged exposure of UV that it reacts with your epidermis and it creates a burning sensation therefore it creating skin cancer later on during your life. This is a huge problem for people that have fair skin, especially if you live near the equator. That's why if you have more melanin in your body, you have a lower chance for you to burn and get skin cancer later on. Melanotan 1 was developed as an analog for alpha MSH, which is melanocyte stimulating hormone. This will allow you to produce more melanin. Therefore, you would get a tan in 30 minutes that you would otherwise get if you were getting exposure of five or six hours in the sun. It stimulates the melanocortin receptor system, therefore releasing more melanin and giving you the tan effect without the need to give more sun exposure than needed. When I'm on melanotan 1, I typically don't need to use sunblock at all. Sometimes I use a little bit just in case, but depending on the dosages, you really don't need to use any sunblock. I've been in the sun for five, six hours, sometimes seven hours, and I don't get any sunburn. Sometimes I, I get a little redness in my skin, but it's nothing that bad in a couple of days it goes away and I'm super tan. So aside from the aesthetic effects, Melanotan 1 also gives you that UV protection. So it's very important to use it when you're going on the summertime, you're going to Mexico or somewhere in the equator. That's when I typically start using it. Other amazing benefits that I've gotten from Melanotan 1 have been that my appetite has gotten suppressed, my libido has improved, and my skin pigmentation has gotten much better. Not to mention that when you're utilizing melanotan 1, your skin cancer risk gets lowered. Another amazing benefit that people don't talk about enough with melanotan 1 is that your mood is gonna be improved. Since you're able to expose yourself to the sun for longer, your mood is gonna be much better and the seasonal affective disorders are gonna be to a minimal. That's why we see people that live in Seattle or New York in the winter times, they get so depressed you're gonna be able to mitigate that. So I know I've been talking about all the positive things of Melanotan 1, but what are the side effects? Let's talk about that now. So with Melanotan 1, you could experience a little bit of flushing. This would happen after the injection. It would last about five to 10 minutes. Also, depending on the dose, if you do a higher dose than you should, you are gonna experience a little bit of nausea. That's why it's so important with this peptide to start low and titrate up. You don't wanna to get too nauseated and then never wanna use Melanotan 1 again, right? So Another thing you got to keep in mind, guys, is that if you use melanotan 1, there is a chance that you will be permanently darker. So if you have olive skin and you like the color of your skin, this might not be for you. This happened to me when I used it. My skin is a little bit darker and it's been permanent even after I stopped using it. You could also experience spontaneous erections. For me, it wasn't as severe, guys. It doesn't happen to everyone as well. It was way more severe with melanotan 2. That's why I enjoy melanotan 1 way more. And also the tan is much nicer. With melanotan 2, you start looking very orange and I don't like that at all. Another main reason that I tell you guys that you should start low and titrate up is because your freckles and moles could get way worse. Now, I have experienced that my acne got much better as I was using melanotan 1. You're probably asking yourselves guys, what is the dosages for melanotan 1? So for this peptide, I would start with 300 micrograms. It would probably take you about one to two weeks to start feeling the benefits of it. This would be one time per week. With this peptide, it's a little tricky because some people are darker than others. So if you have a very fair skin, you might be able to titrate up a little quicker than a person that's a little darker. So keep that in mind. With this peptide, guys, I like to cycle it eight weeks on and eight weeks off. And I usually start with 300 micrograms for the first two weeks. And then I titrate up between 250 to 300 micrograms more per week. So the third week, it would be 600 micrograms and then 750 and so on until I start reaching the maintenance dose, which is 500 micrograms twice per week. If you're a little bit of a fair skin and you know that you're going to have a lot of sun exposure, you can go upwards of one milligram twice per week. So what can you stack melanotan 1 with? Usually what I do is I stack it with GH peptides. So like ipamorlin, tessamorlin, CJC, things like that, because they're going to give you a youthful look. 
that skin glow that GH peptides gives you is gonna work synergistic with melanotan one. Another great stack that you could use melanotan one with would be GHKCU, PPC-157, TB-500, and KPV, otherwise known as the Clow Blend or the Glow Blend. This is gonna work synergistic with each other. It's gonna help your skin look more glowy and more plump. The main reason that the Clow and Glow Blend work so well with Melanotan 1 is because it's gonna help you with that skin recovery. So any type of skin damage that you have, it's gonna help you turn over that damage very quickly. I would also utilize GHKCU as a topical formula if you wanna use it in your face. If you're trying to remove wrinkles and dark spots in your face, I would also utilize a GHKCU cream. This concludes our comprehensive overview of Melanotan 1. Don't forget to get your free looks maxing on longevity peptide cheat sheet. Just comment peptide below and I'll send it to you. And if you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to share it, like it, and please subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next one. Thank you.